first started training, I was at 55 kgs. I actually don't have any pictures where I was actually 55 kgs. Like this was probably at like 60 because I wasn't taking any pictures for it. I wasn't doing none of that because I knew that the body wasn't giving. Like I was going to take no pictures. Anyways, we started off at 55 kgs. I'm currently at least approximately 72 kgs now and this is over four years of training that's a big thing that i want you to understand that the weight gain did not happen overnight okay it takes a couple of years this is over four years of training four years of mistakes four years of starting over two years of figuring things out but not really knowing what i'm doing and just in and out of the gym skipping or oh, i'm not ready blah 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 out the gym training at home four years and these are the results before you think oh i don't have like that much time to give whether you have that much time to give or you don't the four years is going to go by okay so if you decide oh i don't want to do it because it seems like a long time four years is still going to happen so you might as well up <laughs> at this moment my goals have changed i'm now currently in my fat loss era okay fat loss journey and now because i have built all this muscle over the years which has been great but now what we want to do is to maintain that muscle. The main goal and my main focus now is to achieve fat loss. Now there's a big reason why I say fat loss and not weight loss because the two are not the same. So I'm going to break down that for you in the video. First things first, I'm going to show you guys my eating. I'm going to tell you what changes I made in my eating. Also in this video, I'm going to show you guys my table of exactly what I eat from the day-to-day -day basis from breakfast, lunch, dinner. Period. In my training, I'm currently on the 10-week guide, which is this guide. If you're on that guide, shout out, period. Also, everyone that is on a program that is by me, that's the 10-week, the 6-week, all of those programs, please, please, please make sure that you are in the support group, in the team pressure, team pressure support group, because if you're not, you're missing out, okay? I need you in there. So, please, if you're not in that support group, go call me, text me, something. Don't call me, please. Don't, don't call me. <laughs> don't call me. <laughs> text me. Message me somewhere with your order number and I'm going to add you to the group because I cannot share the link publicly. And we have our first session together, our first meet together in the next week. So you might want to hurry up, okay? I am on my fat loss journey. The reason why I say fat loss and not weight loss is because weight and fat are not the same things. Now, I want to take you guys to class for a second. The reason why I want to do that is because I want you to understand something. I do not want you to think that if I do exactly like Bonnie does, I'm going to get the same exact results as Bonnie has achieved because it doesn't work that way, babe. <laughs> so what I want to do in everything that I do, my programs, anything, I want to teach you, okay? I'm not going to make it hard, so don't skip because I'm, I'm also the kind of person, I don't like complicated things. So I'm going to break it down for you in the simplest way so that you can understand what you need to do for your body to get your results, okay? To achieve the muscle building, to achieve the fat, to gain the weight, to lose the weight, okay? Think of this hand, my right hand, as uh, calories in, okay? And I want you to think of this one as calories out. When it comes to losing weight, gaining weight, all of that kind of stuff, it all comes down to calories in versus calories out. That's simply what it is. Calories in means what you're putting into your body, what you're taking in, so what you're consuming, eating, that's calories in. And calories out means what you, how you're using up the energy, how you're using up those calories. So that's through physical activity if you're exercising, but also our bodies burn calories doing the symptoms of, of, of activities like trying to digest the food that you've eaten your body will use up calories when you're sleeping when you're eating when you're walking when you're thinking all of that okay you don't only lose calories just by going to the gym calories in calories out when we are trying to maintain the weight we want to make sure that calories in is in the same as calories out so it's at level it's at equal level if we are trying to achieve weight loss okay you want to lose the weight what are we going to do is we want to up our calories out okay so you want to use up more than what you're eating so that you can be in a deficit you cannot achieve weight loss without being on a deficit it's just not happening to lose any kind of weight you have to be in a deficit what a deficit means a deficit is when you are taking out more than what you're taking in okay that's what a deficit means so for us to be in a calorie deficit you need to start using up more than what you're consuming so how can i do that you can do that by upping your physical activity so upping the activity that you're doing because now i want to use up more so if you for example started working out that will allow you to burn more than what you're consuming or you can achieve that by eating less okay so by eating less that's going to put you again in a deficit if your goal is weight gain that's different what you want to do is you want to consume more so you want to keep you want to up your calories in while maintaining calories out because if you're on a weight gain journey and you are still eating the same way that you're eating but now you're going to the gym you're in a deficit that's why you're not putting on the weight because you're in a deficit you're taking out all the calories that you're trying to gain do you understand what i'm saying okay. what you want to do is you want to increase you want to up your calories so that your body is in a 
surplus and a calorie surplus. I hope that makes sense. Apply that to your journey, okay? And see what that looks like. So if you haven't been losing weight, probably because you're in a surplus. If you're looking at what you're consuming and what you're taking out, what does that look like? Because that will give you the result that you have today. Capiche? Got you. And so in us now being in my fat loss journey, what I've done is it is important for you to be able to track, to figure out what am I doing? What was I doing yesterday? And is it working? This thing that I've been doing for the last month, is it working? And the way that we do that is by tracking. Now, the first thing that I'm going to mention to you is that I am not counting my calories in my fat loss journey because I have good enough knowledge of the foods that I need to be eating to know what each food, how each food will affect me. I know what I need to consume more of, what I need to adjust. And you're going to see in my eating how that has changed. So another way that I have been tracking what I'm doing is I've been using the Dara Scale from Fit Track. Thank you to Fit Track for sponsoring this video. It comes at a perfect time because this has been a huge help in my journey. First of all, when you get onto a traditional scale that number that you see reflected on the scale okay when i get on here you're going to see a number reflected on the scale the number that is reflected on the scale is not the how much fat you have lost over time so normally people like you get into your journey you're eating right you're training right and all of that but the number on the scales are changing and it's like oh my god i don't know what i'm doing i'm not seeing results but that's probably because you are losing body fat but you've also built muscle so that's not going to be reflected on the scale it's just going to be a number do you get what I'm saying? So something that I love about this scale is that I get onto the scale, which shows me how much I'm weighing, and then it comes with an app that you get on your phone. This app basically breaks down what your body fat is, what your water weight looks like, what your bone mass is, and all of that. So, so that you have a clear understanding of how much of this is my body fat, how much of this is my overall weight, how much of this is my bone mass, how much of this is my water weight. And so it breaks everything down for you so that you have an understanding of when you see the number on the scale, that does not mean that you are not losing body fat. It may, you may be losing body fat, but that is not reflected on the scale, which is why we need the app, which breaks everything down and gives you a clear image as well as breaks everything down so that you're able to compare over the month, how much body fat have I lost? It literally gives you definitions of everything so that you understand what that means, your protein rate, what does that mean, your BMI, what does that look like? You get what I'm saying? So that's what I've been using to track as well as to monitor if what I'm doing is working. FitTrack is currently having a sale on the website, 30% off, but if you want some extra coins off, you can use my code uh, on the screen for extra 20% off, which gives you a total of 50% off. That's a freaking steal. Now, we are going to make my first meal of the day, which is going to be a wellness shot. Uh, and normally I would make my own ginger, like you get the actual ginger, like the actual root and do it from scratch, but I couldn't get that, that one. They didn't have it. So I'm just going to use this one for today. I'm gonna put that on top. This is basically so that we can get rid of the pulp. And so, if you do want to get rid of the pulp, I would suggest getting one of these and then you can use a cup, whatever. Whatever you use doesn't really matter. Whatever just whatever gets the job done. It's, it's looking interesting. It's looking interesting. I'm gonna pour that juice like that. Sorry. Use your spoon to do that. We're gonna take the shot. It smells like a good gut, okay? So don't think about it. Just, this is good for you. We do those every single morning. This is really good for your gut health. You need to be taking care of your gut health. When you're complaining about, oh, I'm bloated every day, blah, blah, I don't know what's happening. Don't put a band-aid on the problem. Fix the problem. Fix your gut health. If you're doing your fat loss, whatever whatever journey you're on, you need to be taking care of your body because it's not beneficial to just be healthy on the outside and on the inside is giving crappy space. We are taking care of our bodies. We're taking care of our guts. We're taking care of what's happening when we go into the toilet. What is it looking like? What's what's this, what's the giving? Is it giving or striving? <laughs> Nine out of ten times, your body will always tell you what it needs. Pay attention. Listen. Now, getting into our main breakfast, I want to talk to you guys about the changes that happen when you're on a fat loss journey and the things that you need to be aware of. She's a girl that you think she is. If you can get this granola, it has cashew nuts, coconut, chocolate flavor drops. The chocolate flavor... 
period. Because I am not trying to lose all the weight that I've put on in these last couple of years, I am in a slight calorie deficit. And like I mentioned before, you can only lose body weight or body fat if you're in a deficit. Now, the way that this happens, although we do not have full control of, of whether we lose body fat or uh, your muscle, a good indicator of this would be if as long as you're eating enough protein and you're not seeing a huge decrease in your strength and you're likely losing body fat and not your muscle mass, which is good. And that's what we want to work on. And so I'm not too stressed about losing muscle in the process, in this whole process, because I know how to put on muscle. I've done it before. So we're not too stressed on that. It's important to note that when you change your eating habits, there may be an impact on your energy levels. So if you're on a fat loss journey and you've changed the way that you're eating and you're consuming less carbs, you may notice that your energy levels are not as much as they were before. And that's okay. And that's because of the changes that you have made to your way of eating. We have the granola ball, then we have the egg, and then we have some bacon. Egg meat smoothie. This is basically how I get in my how I get in my vegetables. And then I will see you guys, I will see you guys when we come back for lunch. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and prepare my lunch, guys. I always like sit for a good 30 minutes just thinking, what am I gonna have for lunch? Because I never know what to make for lunch because usually the meal is too much for lunch, like it's giving dinner or it's not heavy enough to give lunch like an actual meal, like it's a snack. So I'm always stressed about that. And I've decided I'm actually going to prepare my lunch meals ahead of time so I don't have to do all that thinking. Another thing that I think is important to remember, as you see all these meals and all of that kind of stuff, is that, guys, my requirements are not going to be the same as the next person's requirements. So, for example, for somebody else, these meals may be too much to be in a deficit, to be in a fat loss journey. And for somebody else, these meals may be too little to be to be able to be in a deficit. And so because our requirements are not the same, our meals are not going to look the same. And so it's important to keep that mind that you, to keep that in mind. And I would like to think that you are drawing inspiration from these meals, getting ideas and things of that sort. Another thing that I have changed within um, my every day would be obviously my changing to help the goals that I have. And so. Whereas I was training to build muscle, now I know that, okay, I need to include a lot more cardio into my training because I'm trying to achieve this goal. And so, as I mentioned that I'm on the 10-week guide, and that looks like having two cardio days instead of one so that I can um, be able to burn a lot more calories all throughout the day, as well as changing my training style. Because like I mentioned, your energy levels are not li are likely to change when you change your way of eating. If you're consuming less carbs, carbs are our energy source. And so if you're not having enough of those or much of those, you're going to notice a dip in your energy. So what does that mean? So I need to change my workouts. So instead of doing four sets, I'm going to just stick it to three sets. And so making those kind of changes to your workouts that help your goals will go a long way answer a couple of questions that i normally get should you train fasted or should you so by fasted i basically mean should you train on an empty stomach or is it better to train having eaten something it really comes down to preference for some people you prefer to train faster that's good for some of us we prefer to train having eaten something because if you train fasted and think that that's going to make you lose more fat or lose more body weight that is not true at the end of the day losing body weight or losing weight comes down to are you in a calorie deficit or not okay so if you're in a deficit, whether you train faster or whether you don't, it doesn't really affect anything. If you are training and you notice that you feel hungry and all of that, please make sure that you get something to eat before your workout, especially at least an hour to 30 minutes before your workout. Make sure that you're getting something to eat, something, a slow releasing carb. Like get into the dates, get into bananas, get into a meal that's light but also filling and that is quite high in carbs to give you that energy that you need to get through, to your, get through your workouts. So I do not train fasted. I have a meal before because I cannot do fasted. However, if you prefer, it comes down to preference. If you prefer to go do your cardio fasted, go ahead and do that. If that's what you're comfortable with. Um, we're going to get into these dates. I'm going to have two of these. And then I'm also going to have a banana. Then we're going to go ahead out and go work out. And we're going to prepare dinner. Before we head to the gym, we're going to prepare dinner. Because uh, we're not going to come back and have to cook. Here's our sweet potato. We're using Cara sweet potatoes because they're great for roasting. Okay, so we're just going to drizzle some oil into our sweet potato and probably add, I'm going to do some mixed Italian herbs and some salt. Yeah, and that's all I'm going to use to season it. 
So I'm gonna go salt first. Just lightly salted, nothing too much. Cha. Anyway, so, and I'm just gonna mix all of that together like that. Make sure that everything is nicely coated. So I'm gonna take the sweet potato, I'm gonna add it, I'm gonna put it into the air fryer. If you do not have an air fryer, you can always use an oven, same thing, same difference, still gonna cook the same. So we're gonna add this into the air fryer, I'm not gonna lie though. The air fryer does do some things, you know what I'm saying? It just takes everything up, up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Actually add every single thing into the air fryer. The chicken into the air fryer, the vegetables, the, the, everything into the air fryer, the toast into the air fryer, everything, period, it's that girl. So we're gonna add this into the air fryer, we're gonna roast it. Four, I'm gonna leave the details on the screen. So between what meat we can do with the sweet potato. Normally, I wanted to do like some prawns or some salmon, but I didn't get that yesterday when I did groceries. So we're not gonna do this. So we're, we're gonna do chicken again. Basically, that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that we're gonna do chicken again, okay? I know we had chicken for lunch. We're gonna have chicken again. Because why not? It's chicken, like, be for real. We just have to cook it different. You know what I'm saying? Chicken don't taste the same. Like. When you cube it, when you make it, it don't taste the same. Your spices, your seasoning, all of that ch affects, changes how it tastes. So we're gonna do chicken again. This is a medium fat, um, medium fat butter with garlic and herb. This is my all time favorite butter. It's literally the best. If you don't want to use butter, you can do olive oil, which will still be great. Okay, so there we have our shredded chicken. We're gonna add this chicken back into the sauce. How good does that look? Period. And here's dinner. So we have the butter, um, butter lettuce salad. Sorry, let me bring you guys into the light. We have the butter lettuce salad. We have sweet potato and we have the chicken over here looking so good. And one thing, if you are on a... If you are on a weight loss journey, one thing that I want to... A tip that I'd like to give you is... If you're struggling to eat less, focus more on your portions. So get a tiny plate like this, a small plate. This is reasonably small. And instead of dishing into a wide plate, like a huge plate, you want to dish into a smaller plate. In a way, kind of, I know there's, for some of us, this wouldn't help because you're, I know you go for seconds. But for the most part, having a small plate like this and filling it up, if you're the kind of person that when you put little portions onto your plate, you feel like, oh, I'm going to still feel hungry. Have filling up a tiny, a smaller plate will trick your mind into thinking that you're full. So try to opt for tiny plates like this and all of that, and it helps and fill up the plate, and you're good to go. So not part of my stuff, you please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and getting to this part of the video. I appreciate you guys so much, and up and up. I hope you create these these um 
recipes i'm gonna add all of them down below for you guys if you would like to try any of them and please let me know what you think as well as all of these recipes can be prepared in a meal prep kind of manner so it works so whether you want to meal prep or you want to prepare these meals um fresh every day you can use the recipes girlies i don't want any of my girls complaining or telling me about Oh, I'm not drinking enough water, blah, blah, blah. You gotta be drinking enough water for every reason under the sun. For your skin, for the health of the coochie, for the health of your nails, for the health of your hair, for the health of your body, your gut, all of it. If you can, get a big bottle like this. This is a two liter bottle. I linked it in my Amazon storefront. I got this one from Take A Lot. Um, just let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to link this one directly from Take A Lot. The thing that I wanna remind you, whatever journey you're on, whether you're on a fat loss, weight gain, whatever you're on, patience. Be patient with your results, be patient with your body, be patient and all throughout your journey, love your body. You don't have to love it when you get to the end result, love it as you're going through the processes of what you're trying to achieve, what you're still getting to, get into your goals and all that kind of stuff, okay? Because it's going to respond to that. If you hate your body, you're going to hate the entire journey. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, linked right here. I post every single day on my story, every single day. We're talking, we're having good chat, so come through on there and as well as TikTok. Guys, I'm about to dig in. My foot is going to get cold. I'll see you guys in the next video.